stuff. Hello, everyone. We're back for some more sound. I'm going to do, do your thing, the, the wave. <laughs> we traded places. Okay. Traded places, places yes. But so we uh, thought we would throw some cool sound clips. We uh, have been on our Yamaha kick lately, mm -hmm. and uh, we've been throwing some cool pickups in our weird shop Yamaha guitars. And uh, this one I know that you guys have seen, um, but this one I can't even remember how long we've had it now. But um, yeah, almost a, I think a year maybe or so. Yeah, and it's such a unique guitar. It's like fully flamed. Um, mm -hmm. We threw our WRHs in it, and it has these really cool. Uh, rings that we thought were ebony but on the underside they were just like mahogany looking wood and this also has flat humps on it so really kind of jazzy smooth kind of sound and i really feel like these wrh pickups highlight a different like the other side of the coin yeah. as far as like jazzy tones but they still give you a little bit of clarity and snap mm -hmm. and um it's just a super usable thing for these styles of guitars i think yeah, we've been putting the uh, WRHs in the 335 semi-hollow type guitars. They really kind of tame some of the booiness. They bring some high end back into it. Sometimes they're too woofy or float. You know, I'm using all the buzzwords, but but they can kind of just get like a lot of low end to them. So we really want to combat that with something clean like the the wide ranges. This is a 1973 Yamaha, so uh, super awesome. Love, yeah. love this guitar. And I've got the, uh, you may have seen this one as well. This one is, I don't remember the model name. I always get it. Uh, AEX520. This is an import Yamaha from a handful of years ago. Kind of this flat, flat top semi-hollow, kind of this Gretsch orange with mini humbuckers. That's the reason we bought it is to have a really dedicated mini humbucker demo platform. Simple three-way switch. Kind of a no-nonsense guitar. It, it was, I got it for next to nothing on eBay and had to put in a little bit of work on the ends of the frets. But really what we want to talk about today, we'll share some clips of these at the end. Really just Yamaha guitars in general as a as a demo or a modification platform. I think we've been really happy with them. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that they've they've done really well. Um, the ones that we've got, there's all the new stuff like the Rev Stars we were talking about earlier this morning. How they're really great guitars. So just good, good platforms for our pickups, good platforms, stable guitars. Um, what do you like about kind of, I mean, these are two very extreme examples, I think. They're not like your mainstream, they're not your grandma's Yamaha. No, or whatever. No. I was trying to go a funny phrase to say, but what do you think about them in general? Because I, I feel like um, it's not like we discovered them because they've been around for a long time. But yeah, but yeah what's your thoughts? Well, I, like, I know the argument. You're like, oh, I don't want to buy a guitar from somebody that also makes snowmobiles or <laughs> boilers or whatever. But it's like Yamaha has got the history. I mean, they've been making musical instruments and like even like woodwind stuff. I feel like horns or something. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I can remember flipping through Guitar Worlds and seeing like Carlos Santana playing like those, you know, the ones that kind of look like SGs, I think. Yeah. I think they're called sure. SG2000s. Mm -hmm. So it's like they've got the history. They know, you know, the infrastructure is there. They build really good instruments. And I think that because we're used to seeing those like Yamaha acoustics, those like FG 120s or whatever. Like 200 bucks or whatever. Yeah. yeah. There's yeah. millions of them out there. Um, but those are also really good guitars, I think. And they're not going to necessarily hold you back. And mm -hmm. So, you know, just fun. It's a unique thing that isn't F style or G style. And it's its own style, I guess. So yeah. It's, it's cool. And they've, they've not increased in value. I think these will, you know, for a vintage guitar, I think I can say 73 is vintage. I think that's appropriate. I mean, I've seen people saying 90s guitars are vintage, which I'm still not, I'm not about, even though that's 30 years ago. But I, I think about the Yamahas in general, I think about the fact that they're pricing, like you can get these for 1500 bucks, which is a vintage semi-hollow type guitar, where if it had a different name on the headstock, it would be, six thousand dollars and so i think something like like that is the thing that i do appreciate about them is you still probably need to go play them i think that's one thing you can try but uh for for the most part we've seen a lot of good consistency i know a lot of people are playing the pacifica you know oh, yeah. like that was one of their first that's guitars right. and they're they're really really solid instruments and so this is kind of that looking for something that kind of pushes back against this price increase that we've seen in the industry everything is more and more expensive and how do you go back and kind of kind of find something? So some, you know, I'm like you I, in early days, just like, oh, Yamaha, it's just cheap. And some of them are cheap and some of them are not that great. And then you find these ones that are kind of in like, this is an import one. And 
um, you know, I guess they're both imports technically, but um, this is kind of a Korean one, I guess you could say. And um, but I've seen these come through, and I've seen uh, customers bring them in, and like, man, these are these are really really good, and and there's some sort of like relief based on that. You're like, I'm I'm not going to spend too much money if I want to put new guts in it, I want to get some porter pickups for it, I want to modify it, then tr consider a platform like this. Maybe get outside your comfort zone a little bit yeah. and find something new, for sure. I forgot about the Pacificas. I know mm -hmm. a lot of people who's that, that's their first guitar and, and they have really nice things to say about them, so I yeah. <laughs> and there's all the new stuff, you know, we were talking about the Rev Stars, we were talking about kind of like the Made in Japan ones and they've kind of, they've kind of uh, pushed themselves back into the, the modern market, if you will, modern in the sense of it's like kind of newer shapes and uh, different stuff, but then still have Pacifica that's very affordable and they kind of have the different levels of the Rev Star as well and, and and some other stuff that's really, really nice. So if you haven't given them a chance, um, I think it's just one of those things, like give, it, give it a second look, go see what else is out there. Um, this is a brand that we've kind of, uh, I would say we're two for two then, you know, yeah. and kind of getting these guitars for the shop and um, yeah, you never know. And, and one one benefit as a as a purchaser is not only like the prices haven't gone up, but but they they can't really some of these like you can't really charge that much for in, in, at the end of the day. I think it was one hundred and twenty bucks I paid for this one, which is crazy. That doesn't happen all the time. Mm -hmm. I, just, I almost like I'm gonna try it because it's that's dirt cheap. And um, this is just a fun a fun guitar. Um, so that's kind of our plug. Again, we're not being sponsored by Yamaha by any means. It's just kind of as a as a couple of guitar dudes wanting to just talk about um, some things that are really good in the industry and uh, bang for the buck, everyone's kind of like, what's the best bang for the buck guitar? I would say these are the best, but I think that there's something about both of these that now we're not gonna sell these guitars. Mm -hmm. And that means something, I think, at the end of the day. So we're gonna plug these in and just give you kind of a quick sound sample of what each of them sound like. Again, our mini humbuckers in this guitar, wide ranges in this guitar, and we'll do more extensive demos down the road, but let's, uh, Let's play these things. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> 